lady's thumb, also known as red shank. This is one of those wild plants that are not really well recognized as being edible. It's a common weed though, native to Europe and to parts of Asia. It's naturalized in North America and in many other countries around the world. As a source of food, the main value of this plant may be for its ability to add bulk to a salad or a vegetable dish. It contains fibers, sugars, fats, and most notably, these leaves contain many phenolic compounds that are hugely beneficial to us because of their antioxidant value. The leaves and young shoots can be eaten, and they're quite palatable. Many people may consider these quite bland tasting, but one thing's for sure, it really doesn't have that much of a wild taste to it. As this plant grows, it starts to flower. The leaves get a little bit tougher, but they're still palatable. Now these leaves aren't looking too happy right now because they've just had to endure a full day of extreme heat. So they're slightly wilting, meaning this plant does not take to heat very well at all. There are lookalikes, most notably the Pennsylvania Smartweed. It too is edible, but the taste of the Pennsylvania Smartweed is much stronger. But how do we t visually tell the difference between the two? For starters, Lady's Thumb has this smudge mark on almost every leaf. Now that's not a telltale sign, but Pennsylvania Smartweed has this marking only on some leaves, and it tends to be more representative of a chevron marking as opposed to just a smudge. Another place to tell the difference, it's going to be very difficult to focus in here and you may have to go to my website in order to get a really good close visual, but right where these leaves meet the stem, there's a sheath and that sheath is called an okra. Where that is, there are tiny hairs that protrude upward. On Lady Sum, they are exceedingly tiny. You can't really see them unless you have glasses on or if you have a magnifying glass. Whereas with Pennsylvania Smartweed, they are visible. Now to know what I'm talking about, again, I need to ask that you refer to my website as I have close-up photographs of that. It enjoys my garden and inevitably it enjoys many other people's gardens as well. These right here are not looking very happy at all. They're looking really sad, which really goes to show you, if you're gonna forage for food, it's no different than being in a grocery store. Make sure you're choosing the best looking produce. For more information on this plant, please click on the link below. And thank you for watching. Your support is truly appreciated.